What's up guys, I'm student Dr. Thompson. I'm a third year medical student here with a review of my pediatrics rotation. And I'm also going to talk about uh, resources that are necessary for doing really well on the pediatrics shelf exam. So stick around for that. Um, and first of all, I wanted to make a little disclaimer, and that is that everyone's pediatrics rotation is probably going to be different. And that's because it depends on how, what portion of inpatient to outpatient you do. Are you going to be rotating in July or in February? And you might see totally different things. So for those of you who have done your pediatrics rotation already, um, feel free to, to add your two cents in the, com in the comments for the rest of us so that we can get a big picture idea of what we might see in um, pediatrics uh, in the rotation that we do. So um, anyway, just some general information on pediatrics. It is considered primary care and you see patients that are zero age birth to typically 18. Um, the pediatrics residency is three years long for general peds. Um, and then the uh, average salary for pediatrics is 177000 So keep in mind that half of pediatricians make less than that and half make more. And I think one big factor in how much you make is where you practice. Because even really young pediatricians here seem to make more than average. Um, whereas I would have thought, you know, seniority or the number of years you practiced would really determine that. So anyway, um, those are just some, some little thoughts that I had. So my experience, I did my pediatrics rotation in July and we saw a lot of well child visits, back to school examinations, sports physicals, vaccinations. Um, we did a lot of depression screening a lot of uh, sexual counseling for teenagers, and I saw a lot of stitches, broken arms, um, tons and tons of circumcisions. Uh, I'm in an area where they do that. About 50% of people are circumcised. Um, and if I would have rotated in February instead of July, I might not have seen any of that, really. I might have seen a lot of runny noses, um, throwing up, diarrhea, sick babies, that kind of stuff, respiratory, you know, RSV. Um, so that, that gives you an idea of, you know, what variety you might see in what, in what uh, season. And that was more of the clinical experience that I had. We also did some inpatient hospital setting um, where we'd go see newborns, um, we do their physical exam, we talk to the parents, congratulate them, tell us where we were located if they didn't know already, um, and then we do circumcisions in the hospital if the parents chose to do that. And that was kind of fun, you know, um, being in a hospital setting, but I'd say 90% of what I did was in, in clinic um, in this physician's private practice, essentially. Um, so another thing that I thought was quite interesting was the variety of people who chose to become pediatricians. There was no one stereotype that I could lump them all into. Um, there were people from you know, all personality types, all walks of life, and that really made me feel comfortable. I liked that about pediatrics. I also liked that um, no two pediatricians practiced in the same exact setting or setup. Um, and, and I also thought you know, that variety um, really um, meshed well with me, I guess. So after my pediatrics rotation, I'm placing peds um, at least in the top three of what I want to do. Do I know if it's what I'm going to do yet? Nah, no, but I, I really liked it. Um, now, I took the shelf exam afterwards and I did pretty good. The resources that you'll need to do good, to do well on the exam, uh, first of all, there's two books and then there's a question bank. The first two books are Case Files and Blueprints. Case Files is a set of 50 or so cases that, that teaches you the information you do need to know in a case presentation format that helps you really retain and remember what you're learning. Blueprints is more like a textbook, um, and I used it as a reference to get more information. Um, I didn't read it straight through, I only had four weeks on my peds rotation, and I understand some people get six and up to eight. Um, so I feel kind of gypped there. I didn't have a ton of time to study. Um, 
so I used it as I used blueprints as a reference and uh, and I think if I'd had the time I probably wouldn't have read straight through it uh, but it was good as as that uh, as as a reference um, the question bank that I recommend is UWorld UWorld will be what I recommend for most rotations um, it's the best question bank that uh, the forums are talking about other students and and what I found as well um, it's 399 bucks for an annual subscription for step two questions and I think it's worth it uh, it's a lot of money to pay but it gives you good good information the second uh, for pediatrics in particular the second resource that I wish I would have had but I've also found on forums is pretest pretest I looked it up on Amazon it's a book 500 questions used for 18 bucks and 500 questions would be awesome more questions the better um, so anyway I hope that helps you guys get those resources you'll do just fine on your shelf exams and uh, again, if you had a totally different pediatrics experience, uh, please leave it in the comments. Everyone would love to hear it. Guys, thanks for watching. Stick around for more great videos.